What is up guys, RevAronones here. Today I'll be showing you how to download and install Halo Online for the PC. This is a really fast tutorial, really simple. Just follow what I do and you'll have the game in no time. Alright, so first things first, there's two files you have to download. I'll have the links below. The first one's the actual game, Halo Online, and the other one is an updater. So once you have those two files downloaded, make sure you know where they're at. Have them in a folder. Make sure you have WinRAR so you can access them because they're zip files. And then open up where you want to install the game. So I have a folder right here called Games that I'm going to install it on. So make a new folder and just simply call it Halo Online. All right. Now, once you have that, open up the Halo Online.zip file and you need to extract all these files from it. So highlight all those files, drag and drop them into that Halo Online folder. Now this is where the game will be saved and where it'll be run at and where you would access it to play the game. Now I said previously that you need WinRAR, but actually I'm pretty sure with Windows 10 you do not. And same with Windows 8, you can already access zip files. If not, I have a download link below for you to access WinRAR. Swick lookins. All right, that is done. Next step is open up the other file you downloaded, the Dorito updater. Highlight these files, drag and drop into the same folder. That goes like instantly because it's a tiny file. Okay, now you can just X out of those downloaded files and you can delete them if you want. So open up the Halo Online folder and you need to double click Dorito updater and launch it. Now the first time you might be asked by the computer to allow it to access networks or something, just click yes. This is a safe file. Sweet. So now this is loading, it'll validate. And then you have to click update. This will run and download all the newest files, patches, maps, and everything for the game. So right now it's updating. Awesome, now it's finally done. Simply click restart and the launcher will restart. And there we have it. Now you have Halo Online for the PC. You have a fantastic game on your PC. So every time you launch it, it'll say verifying. Let it verify to make sure you have the newest version and you can customize your player, which I suggest you do. Add a player name. And you can choose your colors. Obviously, do like a dark red. And you can choose your helmet, Nihar, and yeah, random, whatever. All right, apply. You can tweak your settings. So you can have, I don't know, full screen mode, all that. So yeah, and quick play game. Now, in my prior video, I showed you you had to download. Um, shoot. You need to allow access. Make sure you allow access so you can play online. But in my prior video, as I was saying, you had to download the Evolve client to play online with other players. But now the game has been updated so much that the multiplayer feature has been incorporated into the game itself. So now, all you do to play online is you push, I think F11? Yes, F11, and it'll launch a window to join other servers. There we go, so, got it. All right, choose your server list. And this is an awesome community. Tons of people are playing on this. So let's join Tig Geckos, American Shoot 'em Up, Canada, the Go Home. Yeah. And as you see up here, it says Attempting Connection. And there we have it. We're in the game. And you can normally, I think you can just click, yeah, click the screen and it'll 
minimize that and go back to the game. Now the server launcher is a completely other window. It's not like in the game. So that's why the Windows taskbar popped up down below. And as you can see, I am playing online with other players in the world. So yeah, no more Evolve Client or any of that crap. You can now just easily play online. Oh crap. Dope. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If this worked for you, please hit the thumbs up button to show others that this is a good tutorial. And subscribe for more awesome content. I'll post videos of me playing this game probably in the future. I've just been really busy, so I haven't had the time. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and on Snapchat. Alright, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.